The solution for question one in section 2.8 is done below. First of all, I did a little sketch to help me uh, orient the triangle to get an idea of what that looks like. Uh, then I calculated the midpoint of side AC because we know D is the midpoint of side AC and I found that that midpoint spot was 4, 4. The next thing I did was found the midpoint of BC, which is called point E, and that ended up being 6, 3. Then what I ne needed to do to show that they're parallel, I found the slope of DE, which was negative 1 half, and I found the slope of AB, which was also negative 1 half. So since the slopes are equal to each other, DE is parallel to AB. For part B, we needed to verify that the length of DE is half of the length of AB. So I calculated the length of DE and got it to be equal to the square root of 5. And I didn't bother taking that to a decimal amount because I'm going to compare exact values. The length of AB ended up being the square root of 20 when I used the formula. Now something that you may not know because you haven't had to work with root signs very much, um, we can actually simplify that radical. So what I've done is taken 20 and rewrote it as 4 times 5 because 4 times 5 equals 20. The reason I chose that combination is that 4 is a perfect square. It's a number that I can actually square root and get an integer value 4, a whole number 4. So this square root of 4 times 5, there's a rule that says I can break these into two separate square roots and multiply them together, the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, and then I can actually calculate the square root of 4 and get 2, so that's where that comes from, times the square root of 5. So since we have 2 times the length of DE, since DE is root 5, we know that AB is twice as long as side DE, which then implies that DE is half the length of AB. Question number two. This is a lengthy question for sure. We have to find, first of all, the vertices of the triangle. And to get the vert vertices of the triangle, we need to solve for the intersection points. So I solved the first two equations with 1 into 2 and came up with an intersection point of 4, 2. Then I solved equation 2 and 3 together. Uh, and found that its intersection point was at 2, negative 8. And then I solved the first and the third equation together and found that my intersection point was negative 2, negative 2. So those are my three intersection points, which are the three vertices of the triangle. Next, I showed that it was a right triangle by calculating the slopes using my points A, B, and C. When I calculated the slope of AB, I found it was a slope of 5. The slope of BC was negative 3 halves, and the slope of AC was 2 thirds. These two are negative reciprocals of each other. So since we have a pair of slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other, we have a right angle triangle. Now we need to show its isosceles, and to show its isosceles, we need to get the side lengths. I found the side length AB to be the square root of 104 units long. Side BC had a length of the square root of 52. And side AC also had a length, which is the square root of 52. So since the length of BC is equal to the length of AC, the triangle is isosceles.